Hello everyone, let's take a look at Tone Sunday in Shen Wei Hua. To review, examine the eight tones of Shen Wei Hua below. Remember that tones 7 and 8 can only apply to stopped syllables. That means syllables end in PTK stops or glottal stops, ending in H. And tones 1 through 6 can only apply to non-stopped syllables. While each tone has its own contour, this is only true when a tone is spoken independently or at the end of an utterance. Almost all syllables, except for the final syllable of an utterance, undergo tone Sunday, which means that the vast majority of syllables spoken undergo tone Sunday, which basically is just a system of tone change. How does this work? Let's look at an example. Lim xia se, li xi yang gok nang ma. This means, Mr. Lim, are you an English person? The first line is the example written in Chinese characters. The second line is the example romanized with the tones indicated. However, remember that if a syllable is not at the end of an utterance, then the tone does not undergo tone Sunday. We can see that the se is in its natural form. Tone one should be at mid-level represented by the 3-3 three, three in the third part. We also see that nang and ma are in their natural forms because they manifest as high-level tones. So none of these three have changed tone. Se comes before a comma, which is a natural pause. When speech is paused, the final syllable will not undergo tone change. But what about the case of nang and ma? Why are there two syllables that did not change? Ma is a part of speech called a particle. This is a word that is meaningless on its own, but has a grammatical function. The word ma changes a statement into a question, and this phrase can be spoken without the particle ma, albeit with a different meaning. Therefore, ma does not actually count as the final syllable because this rule does not apply to particles in the final position. So we don't change the tone of nang. However, this means that every other tone in the sentence will change. Looking at the first part of the sentence, we can see that the phrase's pitch initially drops, then is level on a moderately low tone, then level on a mid-tone. Lim xia se. In the second part, of the sentence, we can see an initial drop, then an overall trend of low tones, then an overall trend of high tones. Li xi yang gok nang ma. In addition to the Sunday framework, there are some exceptions, and a class of toneless words that we will cover later. Of course, there is some fluidity and overall tonality of the sentence but the system is a general framework to determine the relative tone levels of words. If one were to speak with no variation in tonality, one would likely sound quite robotic to native speakers. Looking back at the eight tones, here is a summary of how each tone changes in contour when it undergoes tone Sunday. Looking at tone one, xia se, meaning sir or mister, the first character is spoken as xia on its own, however it changes when it is not the last syllable. Xia se, notice that the second syllable is higher. Ang de, meaning black tea, but it's literally red tea in Chinese languages. By itself, the first word is ang. In this context, the first word changes and it becomes ang de, zha chang, meaning breakfast. By itself, the first syllable is za. In this context, the first syllable changes and it becomes za chang. Gin lai, meaning to come in. By itself, the first syllable is gin. In this context, the first syllable changes and it becomes gin lai. Cai qi diu, meaning food market. The first syllable is pronounced as cai by itself. In this context, the full word is cai qi diu qiu hiu, meaning tree leaves. By itself, the first word is pronounced as qiu. 
in this context, the full word is to hyo, get bia, meaning side. The first syllable by itself is pronounced as get. The full word is get bia, hak seng, meaning student. By itself, the first syllable is hak. The full word is hak seng. Some words in Hakuo and other Min languages can be toneless. These words tend to be commonly used words and words that appear in common phrases. Specifics vary from language to language in Min and dialect to dialect. There is no exhaustive list of cases where words are toneless that I was able to find for Hakuo Min. In the following examples, the dash dash zero means that the word just mentioned is rendered to a toneless form. Kilai. By itself, these words are ki and lai. In this phrase, lai is reduced to a toneless form. Kilai. Ziplai. By itself, these words are zip and lai. In this phrase, lai is reduced to a toneless form. Ziplai. This phenomenon also occurs in other Min languages. Surely, other rules involving tones and tone change exist in Hakuo Min, but the information about this is either not documented or not currently available. More research is needed into this language to determine these things. Some phenomenon that occur in other Min languages that could occur in this language include double Sunday, triple Sunday, words that never undergo tone Sunday, and additional Sunday rules when words are followed by specific particles. That's it for now. Tune in next time for more on Shanwei Hua. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe.